Hi everyone and welcome to TS Fibro. Today's video will be on balance and coordination with fibromyalgia. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Just click on the subscribe button that's in red and hit click on the notification bell that comes up beside it and make sure it's clicked for all videos instead of occasional because you'll start wondering why you missed a video and that's why because they have notification of none, occasional, and all. So just make sure you hit, if you want notified of all the videos I put up, just click the bell that has all videos. Also, if you like the video, hit thumbs up. And if you don't, there's a thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed to YouTube, it's not real hard. Uh, and you don't have to have a channel. You don't have to make a channel or anything. Just go up to where it says sign in click on it, it'll say uh, create an account, and then just click on it, you answer a few questions, and voila. Because without an account to YouTube, you can't subscribe to my channel and get notifications of the different videos I put up, and you can't like or dislike the video unless you're signed up with YouTube. Okay, so let's get started. Balance and coordination with fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia symptoms can make life extremely difficult for those who have the disorder, making it hard to work, uh, finish housework, or even just getting out of bed in the morning. In addition to chronic headaches, difficulty concentrating, and muscle and joint pain, many fibromyalgia sufferers also have to combat chronic di uh, dizziness. This dizziness can last for a mere seconds or as long as a few days, causing headaches, nausea, and even fainting spells. At some point, everyone experiences some type of dizziness, whether you've had the flu, been pregnant, or just had a little bit too much to drink on occasions. You will have probably felt the effects of dizziness, including blurred vision and spins. Dizziness is generally described as a feeling of lightheadedness or unsteadiness. In fact, dizziness is pretty much a blanket term for anything from feeling off kilter to actually sensing that you are going to pass out. There are various causes of dizziness ranging from illness to low, bl uh, low blood pressure. Dizziness is one of the most common medical complaints in North America. In fact, dizziness accounts for about 8 million doctor visits every year in the United States. 42% of people complain that they have suffered from dizziness at some point in their lives, and even more will eventually experience it. Most people find that they can deal pretty well with dizziness, but when it occurs on a daily basis, like in fibromyalgia, severe dizziness can really put a damper on your life. More than two-thirds of people with fibromyalgia suffer from regularly dizziness. Our balance is system. In order to function normally, our body relies on an intricate system that is designed to keep us steady and balanced. Our brain combines messages received from our inner ear, eyes, skin pressure receptors, and muscle and joint sensory receptors. When combined, these parts of the body tell our brain exactly where we are in space and what direction we are headed in. Without this sy system, we would be falling down all over the place. This system is often referred to as our equilibrium. What causes dizziness? You may find that you're dizzy. You may find that you feel dizzy when you are riding in a car, on a boat, or in an airplane. Dizziness and motion sickness is particularly common and has to do with mixed messages that our brain is receiving from our equilibrium system. Sometimes our eyes, ears, skin, and muscles all sense different things. Our eyes may be focused on one spot while our body is actually bouncing around all over the place. As a result, our brain isn't really sure where our body is in space. This can cause nausea and dizziness. Dizziness and fibromyalgia causes. The reason for dizziness and fibromyalgia are probably problems with the body's ability to circulate blood, referred to as neurally mediated hypertension. 
This disorder can cause dizziness, weakness, sweating, and lightheadedness. It can also lead to fainting spells and falls. So it is important to receive treatment if you notice a lot of dizziness with your fibromyalgia. Neurally mediated hypertension. Fibromyalgia sufferers with this hypertension have difficulty regulating their blood pressure levels. When most people stand up, blood rushes to their legs and feet. The body then releases epinephrine, which causes the heart rate to increase and blood vessels to constrict. The heart is then forced to pump more blood to the rest of the body to compensate for all the blood that went to the legs. People with neurally medica- uh, mediated hypertension have a problem that prevents the heart rate from increasing. Instead of increasing, the heart rate actually drops, preventing the necessary amount of blood from being pumped around the body. This leads to the hypertension symptoms like dizziness and fainting. Types of dizziness. There are actually quite a few different types of dizziness. Depending upon the type of dizziness that you have, you may experience different symptoms. If your symptoms persist persist for any length of time, you should consult with your health care provider. One type of dizziness is vertigo. Vertigo dizziness causes the sensation that you are spinning or whirling. Sometimes it can also uh, cause you to feel as if you are tilting or floating. Vertigo and nausea often occur together and can last for as long as three days. Vertigo also tends to cause your eyes to swing back and forth slightly. Causes of vertigo may include problems with inner ear dizziness. Unsteadiness. Unsteadiness makes you feel as if you're off balance. It can cause you to stagger or even fall down. Also referred to as disequilibrium, unsteadiness can be the result of poor vision and arthritis, especially in the elderly. In younger patients, unsteadiness is often caused by a problem in the equilibrium. Lightheadedness. Lightheadedness is a type of dizziness that makes you feel, makes your head feel lighter than the rest of your body. It can cause nausea and is often accompanied by unsteadiness. Causes of lightheadedness are widespread. Near fainting. Near fainting is a kind of dizziness that makes you feel as if you're going to pass out. It often occurs when you stand up after sitting for a long time. You may experience blurred vision or sudden blackouts in vision. This type of dizziness is usually caused by a lack of blood flow to the brain. Symptoms associated with dizziness. There are numerous dizziness symptoms. These include headache, fainting or near fainting, sweating or chills, blurred vision, hearing problems including tendinitis. If you are experiencing dif- uh, dizziness with your fibromyalgia, speak to your doctor to find out what you can do about it. In fibromyalgia, dizziness, poor balance, and falls are common complaints. For some people, there are minor annoyance that crops up on occasions. In others, they can be severe, severely debilitating and lead to regular injuries. Falling, and especially falling frequently, is a serious problem. The last thing you need when you're already in constant pain is to hurt yourself all the time. Frequent falls or balance problems can also lead to a fear of falling. That fear can, in turn, make you afraid to remain active even within your limits. According to a study in In clinical rheumatology, 73% of people with fibromyalgia have a fear of physical activity and nearly 75% have problems with balance. Falling is less a symptom and more a consequence of the symptoms of dizziness and poor balance. In this condition, falls and balance problems can may also be related to changes in how we walk. So why does fibromyalgia involve these problems and what can we do about them? In fibromyalgia, dizziness most often comes on when you first stand up. 
It's similar to feeling of a head rush when you stand up too quickly, only it can happen any time you go from lying down or sitting to standing up. The sudden onset of dizziness can make you sway on your feet, stagger, or it may even make you fall or faint. Dizziness and fainting is the condition, and this condition may be tied to a particular subgroup according to a 2017 study published in the European Journal of Pain. In addition to dizziness and fainting, this subgroup also had the highest pain levels as well as a variety of symptoms overlapping conditions including cognitive dysfunction, fiber fog, irritable bladder, and restless leg syndrome. I know I have problems with uh, balance, mostly balance. I do have problems a little bit with dizziness, but sometimes uh, I can go shopping and I have to hold on to the buggy or hold on to my husband. I have to hold on to something because I walk as if I'm drunk. And I always laughed and would tease with my husband. If I ever get pulled over and they do a sobriety test on me, I'm going to flunk it and be totally sober. Not drinking nothing. Because there's no, I can't walk a straight line to save my life. I lean, I sway. It's just part of fibromyalgia, and it's a pain. But I have found that leaning on the buggy or even having a cane, you know, I know that a lot of young people, uh, nope, you're not going to see me with a cane walking. They have um, walking sticks that they can make pretty cool looking. So, but... I know for me, I have to have something to hold on to or they're going to stop me thinking I'm a public drunk because I cannot walk straight. Okay, everyone, that is balance and coordination with fibromyalgia. Uh, If you have any comments, please leave them below. I think you have to be a YouTube subscriber to leave comments. I'm not real sure about that one. I'll have to check on it. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and hit that like button. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I have a new video. And if you haven't seen the important message video, it's that I have separated the uh, daily devotionals from the fibromyalgia page. So if you get if you want just fibromyalgia, you will get just fibromyalgia notifications. If you just if you want to go to the um, daily devotional page, which is separate, you can go to TS Daily Devotional, and if you forget, there's a video on it called Important Message, and it's on both sites. So thank you all for coming and listening to my video. Um, I hope it gave you some information. I would love to have your comments, questions statements, what whatever it is you would like to leave. I want everyone to know that I pray for a cure, and I pray that you have a pain-free day. God bless everyone.